I recently learned about a community on YouTube who uses something called light language to channel and communicate with aliens. And I just found it to be truly wild. So I've been practicing my light language, but I've been unable to get them on the on the line. I guess I just have bad service to the, the cosmic entities out there. So I fear my third eye may be forever closed. I might never experience the joy of tapping into that intergalactic Wi-Fi and communicating with these space-faring organisms. However, not all is lost. I found a great YouTube channel called Skylife that actually did a really interesting video on it where she met with and interviewed an individual who claims to be able to communicate with aliens. I guess more accurately, she's able to allow alien communication through her as like a vessel. Kind of like in Spongebob when they have the magic conch. Like, she is the human magic conch for the 5G extraterrestrials out there. Now, this should go without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway in my own version of light language. Do not go harass anyone in this video. Don't be a fucking douchebag. No matter how you feel about alien channeling or communication or anything like that, just don't be a fucking asshole. One thing that I've learned about recently, I haven't watched this video, but there is a, uh, I think she's a YouTuber who talks to aliens. And it's kind of similar to the Kundalini. She's able to tap into the alien hierarchy and speak their language to us. If I weren't experiencing this reality, it would seem insane to me. You mm -hmm. believe you're an alien? Definitely. I can open up and don't speak your own version of light language as well. <laughs> See, like, I feel like aliens communicate with just orgasms. Because every time I there's an alien the channeler, I've they're just constantly busting. Do we have anyone fluent in light language that can translate? Like, I know I couldn't pop that into babblefish. Shit would just explode. You have any experts? You're dog shit, kid. Okay. I mean, that awfully long-winded for such a short sentence, but who am I to question the aliens? They actually feel that they've come to Earth. That was pretty low effort. At least the other ones are putting effort into making it sound like almost a language. Hers is just quiche, 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 quiche. They actually feel that they come to that. Earth from another part of the galaxy. She's coming. <gasps> oh! <laughs> I quiche, quiche, quiche. Like two years. Welcome. I've been feeling you like you've been coming through the realms recently. What does that mean, coming through the realms? Like you've been appearing in different realities, your name. So I believe you're understanding the gist of it, where it's individuals who enter a trance-like state. Like, you know when you're really fucking turbo gaming and you just enter this flow state where everything just starts connecting? They enter that zone and then start speaking light language, which is their way of communicating with aliens. I believe, at least to my understanding. Now, one thing that I'd like to immediately question here is whether or not the individual Skylife is meeting with is actually the human or aliens using her like a fucking meat puppet. You know, there's no way of confirming whether or not there's a human soul in that body anymore because maybe she went too deep. She got too lost into the cosmic vibrations, the chakras, and the aliens, you know, like, you you stare too long in the abyss and it stares back into you, the aliens have now taken over that body, right? Kind of like in Peacemaker with the butterflies. What a lovely portal. Where I live, we call yes. it the portal. Really? Whoa. There's a resonant vibe. There's lots of synchronicities yeah. happening already. There's so, so much nothing here. words. <laughs> what does that mean? It's actually the So many synchronicities and He's a guy, quarks. but genders are... There's different crystals actually I saw a bottle of place. brain juice. Soul set with intention to like hold a specific frequency so that you feel good, so that you feel nourished, so that you feel love. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite frequency. Is that FM or AM? Um, can we talk about this beautiful altar? Yeah, yeah she likes so Shungite and shit, which is cool. That are energetically represented Rest in peace, any like Wi-Fi signals trying to penetrate here. Frequencies to invoke thing though. I haven't eaten meat in 11 years, wow. actually, until I just did ayahuasca two weeks ago. And I had What's this that? whole thing come through where it was like, I partly identify with the fact that I've been vegan, that I haven't eaten meat for over 11 years. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to dissolve that ego. I want to sit down and really <laughs> yes. dive into all of this. Yes, so let's go back to- I like to imagine that situation. Fuck, I've been vegan for 11 years. Ah, I'm becoming too self-centered. Fucking starts blasting chicken nuggets and chicken wings. Alright, good. Now I'm humbled again. Back to being vegan. 
This story here really confused me. It was like veganism tenet. Like, I don't really know what she was trying to say. So I looked up ayahuasca because I'd never heard of that before. And it's apparently a plant-based psychedelic. So she basically had a trip and then was like, damn, I partly identify as being vegan. Which would make sense, right? Like, if you made the choice to be vegan, you should fully identify as being vegan. So why is it partly? And why is she looking at it as a negative thing? Perhaps this was, like, one of those weird out-of-body experiences. Like, when Doctor Strange blasts uh, fucking Spider-Man's soul out of his body and Tom Holland is, like, floating outside and he's like, damn. She must have had that happen. Like, the ayahuasca just split soul from vessel. And she was like, shit. That's a vegan. And then what? Like, I... I don't know if she, cause she said she didn't eat meat for 11 years until she did ayahuasca. So I'm assuming when she did, she started just fucking pounding meat, like gluttonous, grabbing pork, duck, veal, lamb, you know, all kinds of shit. Like that's the impression I got. Like she was a, a vegan for 11 years until ayahuasca where she had this epiphany where it's like, gee willikers, I guess I was vegan. Time to dissolve that for some reason. And it might be my fault because I'm not fluent in light language, so I have a hard time wrapping my head around a concept this big brain, this galaxy brain. Like in the cosmic scale of intelligence, I'm still down here at like the primordial ooze, and she's somewhere towards like a level 3, like a type 3 civilization intelligence, I think. Because I couldn't even spell ayahuasca. I thought ayahuasca was like a small town somewhere in the Midwest. I didn't know it was a psychedelic or anything. And when I was Googling it, I had to spell it like 20 different ways before I finally found the correct spelling for the plant-based psychedelic. So really, it's probably just my lack of understanding because my brain isn't like truly opened. I'm not using 150% of all my neurons. What's it called? A hand it's drum? A hand pen, but hand it's hand. a space drum. It is a UFO. Mm -hmm. It's actually a space drum. In your lap. It's a cosmic instrument. Sound frequencies that are like cosmic mm -hmm. binaural beat sound frequencies that register to certain parts of your brain and activate certain awarenesses and consciousness. It's like the secret space program instruments. Feel. Same thing as light language. I don't understand. Unlocking our memories <laughs> from our spacefaring <laughs> days. <laughs> How do I do it? It's kind of like your, I would love to. I'd love to talk to some aliens, please. Container to where you feel comfortable. Say what's you up. Feel cold to allow your they have to Fortnite out there? Version of light language as well. And as I was meditating, these three light beings appeared on each side of my bed, like kind of what you would think an alien would look like where they were really tall, their heads were different shapes and their arms and their legs were more lengthy and they had maybe about three or four fingers I oh, couldn't so like fully a, see, but you, they weren't You communicated form. with they a ninja turtle. Of light. I woke you were next. awake. I was awake. <laughs> Imagine I was not Mikey's just communicating with her. lifted like, I just out need a pizza. my light body so I could see it. Almost. I started thinking about Arcturians. Arcturians, oh, what are yeah, Arcturians? Yeah. So the name of Arcturians just- Real quick, uh, just to connect everything here this is so uh, serendipitous she decided to bring this up i mean maybe we are vibrating on the same frequencies thanks to this portal uh the s the ssp secret space program that's very big in arcturians so the arcturians they're a space-faring lizard race and they can also have shape-shifting abilities as well as vamp uh, vampirism i think they can also be werewolves as well uh, so really it all kind of blends together so she might be speaking the truth she could be a secret space program member yeah, I'm sure all of you that accept the truth of our universe are very familiar with the Arcturians, very cunning, uh, very intelligent beings out there. Uh, in, in Mass Effect, I'm sure they were somewhere in the Citadel as well. They're something that always gets brought up in pretty much every single conspiracy theory, that at least ones that involve space. I, I don't exactly understand why, but somehow Arcturians just always find their way into these communities. Fully relaxing your nervous system. Can we move the cat? It's gonna get caught in the crossfire beams. Oh shit. Fuck, I'm starting to transcend. And I don't even have like the eucalyptus oil on me or whatever. Oh my god. Oh, Kalimba! <laughs> Which is natural and normal, and that's a part of the fun where it's like we forget so that we can remember. My fear is that I'm just gonna make things up. At first, it may feel like that, but you have to give yourself permission because that's still the ego doubting. It's like I'm gonna the be exact opposite, I would as think. Well. It'll be a conversation. So, from what I can tell here, the rich the ritual, the sacred ceremony to start summoning the aliens here 
to our dimension consists of just laying down while having obscure instruments being played over top of you, I guess, to align your vibrational, you know, frequency with the correct space frequency or something. I like when she brought out the kalimba, though. I actually had a kalimba myself for a while that I can't find now. Perhaps some kind of cosmic burglar claim came in to steal it because maybe kalimbas are too powerful an instrument. Maybe I was pretty close to summoning a dangerous alien here. But I had this kalimba, and I could play the teriyaki boys on it from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. The dun 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 Yeah, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So I was a little disappointed to see that she didn't break out into that solo there and get that pumping, because that probably would have summoned some fucking badass aliens. Like, the aliens would have come in and start talking about, like, fucking horsepower, diesel, uh, suspension shocks and carburetors. It would have- they probably wouldn't have even summoned an alien, and they just probably would have brought in Dominic Toretto or something. I also really like that line, we forget so that we can remember. That's basically just a Mudvayne song, forget to remember. So maybe they're summoning the spirit of Mudvayne, I guess, trying to trying to get that band back together. Okay, so like bring your energy into our hands and let's activate that the energy. That was profound. And so we're just gonna Speak be like kind of moving the torso. Come on, let's go. Oh, she's falling into the galactic stream of vibrations. The chakras. Oh, oh fuck! It's a close encounter with the third kind! Be careful! It's too much energy! So you're gonna go turn into Dr. Manhattan! Who am I communicating with? Who's on the horn? Banish it! Get out of this realm! No! She's too deep! Alright, we're coming down. Fuck, that was close. She was tapped into the mainframe. <laughs> oh, now she's communicating with an alien comedian, huh? What's he saying? Good Lord. Jesus! <laughs> Let her go! Oh, God, no! Jesus, have some... Have some class! These fucking cosmic beings! Stop it! Oh my god. Where did she travel? Okay, that's it! Oh, that sounds good. And the adventure continues. Uh, yep. Bye bye. That was interesting. I, you know. That was pretty good. Skippy dee 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 boop bada bop. Boom bottom bop. That was me saying goodbye in light language. It does seem cathartic to just get the wiggles out and like just have a like a full body exorcism like that. I imagine that probably feels pretty good. I don't I don't know if it necessarily makes me a believer in the communication with aliens through light language, but if nothing else as long as it makes them happy, I guess that's what matters. You know, it's not it's not hurting anyone. It's pretty harmless. Just yeah, thought it was a pretty interesting and fun community to to talk about and share a bit of. And anyway, that's really about it. See ya.